What is Power Slap? Well, from what I've gathered, it's two men or women that stand face to face together on their own will while allowing the other person to slap the ever living f out of them, all for the entertainment of many or few. I'm not really sure who's watching this yet. After hearing Dana White talk about it, I've been curious about what this sport really is all about, so I decided to watch a couple clips. After watching those clips, I still don't understand. Luckily for me though, Power Slap 6 is live in Las Vegas, and it would be their first ever event that opened to the public. So I got an opportunity to not only get tickets, but to get VIP access as well. Shout out to Fungus's mom. With this platinum VIP access, not only would I get front row seats, but I would also get a chance to meet Charles Barkley. Wait, what? Why is Chuck there? Anyway, I'd also be given pre-show hospitality, a photo opportunity with the Power Slap belt, and even a premium gift signed by Dana White. This sport had already been cancelled once by TBS, so I figured if I was ever gonna see it, this might be the only chance I've got. I don't know what this is. All I know is that guys stand there and slap each other for minimum wage until somebody falls over? Is there any other rules? Are there rules? I don't know! I got so many questions, but I'm headed to Power Slap 6 to get those answers. Right after we hear a word from today's sponsor, SeatGeek. Guys, when I need tickets to an event, SeatGeek is always my first choice. From NBA games to MLB and even WWE, SeatGeek is the best place to get tickets to any event. And since you guys have been using my SeatGeek code for all these years, they've hooked me up with a brand new offer. Right now, anyone can use my code TROYDAN10 for 10% off any tickets on SeatGeek. And it doesn't matter if you're a new or old customer, you can get 10% off your order with promo code TROYDAN10. So download the SeatGeek app right now for your next event and take advantage of this insane offer while you can. That's TROYDAN10 for 10% off only at SeatGeek. And again, a thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. After eight and a half hours of flying, and thankfully no delays for once, I finally made my way to Las Vegas. I was able to get a room at the brand new Durango Hotel, which would also be the same place that Power Slap would be hosted. The hotel is only about two months old, and I'll be honest, this was one of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed in. It was quiet and they had room service. I'm an easy man to please. Yo, what's up boys? What's up? Apparently for this event, half the audience were paying customers, and the other half was a mix of influencers and celebrities who were clearly paid to be there. We're just out here uh, waiting for the event to start. We got about 20 minutes and uh, I don't know what to expect. We showed up early for the event, so we sat around and waited for things to start. That's when I found out there was segregation between the paying customers and the influencers. But I guess it made sense once I found out what celebrities were actually going. Got my thing, ready to go in. When I saw the cutout of Charles Barkley, it started to make sense why he was actually here. But before we knew it, we were being ushered to our seat. Bruh. Just waiting for it to start. I think about 30 minutes or so. There are a bunch of prelim fights starting before the main con. So only the real Power Slap fans were here early. Like me. UFC fighter Anthony Smith and Forrest Griffin were actually the guys that would catch the Power Slap fighters as they got knocked out. That way they don't hit their head on the ground. That would be awful, right? And it turns out that Michael Bisbig is actually the commentator. Thankfully, they were nice enough to put the rules on the screen because just like me, 90% of that crowd had no idea what was going on. And finally, after what felt like an eternity, it was finally time for our first slap fight. The power is on! 
so they lined our first two slappers up, and you can say the rest was history. This dude liked getting slapped way too much. The other guy, not so much. Apparently he was too rock to continue, which led me to believe there's some humanity in this sport. I honestly thought it was a death match. Robert, the real Before we knew it, it was time for the next match. And I'll be honest, things only got crazier as we went on. Spaghetti Rahimia. And right in the middle of the match, Sir Charles decides to show up. This match is a majority draw. Yeah, apparently the fight can also go to a draw. But it was now time for our scheduled meet and greet with Charles Barkley. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Hold on. I'm just saying this to you. My favorite city in the oh, world right there. Man. My, my favorite city in the world. And that was it. I got to pose with Charles Barkley while holding his vodka. After that was done, they took us back out to watch more slap fights. And then the random celebrity started to appear. people in the crowd were pretty amped up, but for the most part, they were ignoring the fights and paying more attention to the celebrities. But with all the stars, there was no one bigger than, I can't believe he was there, Tom freaking Brady, the GOAT, at Power Slap. Tom fucking Brady! Yo! I shit you not, Tom watched one slap and then promptly walked out. As the crowd got drunker, they started to heckle the fighters more. Uh, it's like NASCAR, they only do one thing. It took me a second to notice this, but the coaches were the same for every single fight. So each coach had to coach 12 different guys in the same night.
And before we knew it, the main events were finally starting. And it looks like the slap stand levitates out of the ground. Wow, how cool is that? It was time for the women's co-main event. And let me tell you, this was the craziest thing in the entire night. Yeah, the first slap thrown, it knocked the woman out for a solid seven minutes straight. She had no idea where she was or even who she was. But hold on, this is when the power slap rules come into play. Because the slap was deemed as clubbing, which is an illegal slap, I guess, the girl that got knocked out actually won the fight by disqualification. By disqualification, wow. Wow. <laughs> by disqualification. She got knocked out cold and still won. And it was finally time for the main event. But at this point, so many people had left the audience. It felt like we were still on the prelims. No! This fight was brutal. They kept falling down and letting them back up. I wish I could bet on if they get brain damage. Oh, that's a good idea. The Durango should get a CAT scan. Oh! And then with one final swing, it was finally all over. They then let us walk on the stage and take some photos up there. So I handed my phone for the woman to record. She ended up turning off my recording and these are the only photos that I've got. And then they kicked us off the stage. That was it. That was it. And we're back. And we're out of me. We're out. I didn't notice this at the time, but it looks like Charles Barkley signed my vodka. Thanks, Chuck. Also on the way back, we decided to check out the Sphere in Las Vegas. It looked pretty cool outside. It's like a massive ball. But to be honest, when I went inside, it really wasn't as cool. I think it's because we had floor seats. Apparently, it's better the higher you sit up. I'm still not really sure what to think about Power Slap yet. It seems like more of a sideshow event, but maybe I'm too old for it because it seems like it's pretty impressionable with the youth. Two, three, oh, okay. ah! three, mm. ah! three, oh, <laughs> two, oh, two, oh, three, oh, the winner. Magoo! Let's go! Let's go! There was a couple occasions where people got knocked out, completely out cold, had no idea where they were, they were out for three minutes, and they won the fight! Man, I hope those guys got paid well because we're in America and I know you guys don't have free healthcare. Tom Brady was there and also Travis Scott and a whole bunch of other influencers, but I still can't believe Tom Brady was there. He stayed for like 30 seconds. It seemed like no one really cared about the slapping, which was kind of interesting. It was more like a networking event than anything. Either way, that was a crazy event and I need to go home. My voice is completely gone from yelling at Vince McMahon and this didn't help. This didn't help at all. Guys, thank you for watching, and as always, keep your stick 
on the ice.